My name is Melanie Makaset Peralta. I am an MLT at Pathology Research Program within the LMP program at University Health Network. The Pathology Research Program is a research program that's a service lab for histology services. So basically we service a lot of our clients that are researchers, principal investigators, doctors, or sometimes just students looking for putting an image under a microscope and putting words to it. When we receive the sample, from time to time, we really don't know what's walking through those doors. So we need to assess and talk with the actual client to find out what their actual needs are for each sample. Each sample can be very, very different. It can be anything fresh to fixed to in a block or on a slide. We actually have to converse with them and find out what do you want to achieve with the sample? What do you want to see? Maybe you need to assess something, quantify something. The Research Pathology Lab, we're very dynamic. Unlike traditional labs in histology, you have a set of protocols, you follow the protocol from one end to the other end, and that's about it. Unlike with us, we actually have to create the protocol as we're going. We have to think outside of the box because these samples are not traditional. So we're the people who kind of devise all these things to set a protocol, and then once it's set and we're able to reproduce it on a mass scale, it then gets moved into the clinical realm and it becomes part of a diagnostic panel. So an example of that was EGFR, which is an antibody known now for breast cancers. It's tested routinely on breast cancers. It used to be just done on research samples that we get from the PI, and then we sit there and we look at it and go, okay, how are we gonna attack this antibody and how are we gonna get it so that it looks good? It's got moved into the clinical realm and now they're running it routinely every single day as a panel on breast cancer. My father, he also had cancer. He, he actually called me um, a year when he was diagnosed. He sent me his reports and asked me, do you understand what they're saying in this report? And I said, well, I do, but um, you really should hear that from your doctor. He goes, well, he told me, but I want to hear it from you. I want to know from you if I have anything left. I go, you do. Just take your time and enjoy what you have, and don't worry about that. I would say it became even more apparent for me that staying in the world that I am in now is where I want to be. It just, I just have this feeling of trying to help and cure and find any answer whatsoever. And I like to be part of that research that develops something to help it along. I may not be the frontline people that do it, but the thing is I know I'm helping in some shape or form towards that goal. The samples that we receive will always continue to evolve. Unfortunately, we can't just be stagnant in one item. So when we get a new sample, we try to welcome it as, ooh, what's this new thing we're going to do with this? And yes, there's days where you want to run out of the room screaming because you don't know what to do with the sample, but then you come back and you're refreshed and you move forward with it. And this is why I need a team that works together and that's open. And I'm so lucky to have that and each person has their own experiences in any other lab that they've worked in, which makes our lab even more dynamic. The technologies that we run into now, you would never see this in a clinical lab because it's very protocol based. But because of it, we're able to say, hey lab, guess what? Maybe you guys want to try this technique and standardize the protocol. It might help more people with cancer or more people with wounds or whatever else that might come along, diseases that we can actually try and solve and help them with.